welcome back to the Fossil Academy. Now I'm in the workshop. Um, got loads of stuff. I've got to get finished off. But I found a nice, um, found a nice ammonite the other day. Uh, sticking out. It's a green ammonite nodule. Uh, and I've already had uh, about an hour and a half on it. And I found this little one here. Uh, and I'm getting down to this one. But uh, I just want to get get it finished. So I'm going to uh, crack on with that and see if I can get that something like um, in this next sort of few hours. But yeah, I'm going to try something special with it, I think. I'm going to try, depending on what it looks like, I might try uh, both sides with it, sort of like have it hanging. But I don't know yet cause it's quite a nice, it's quite a nice shape for that. Uh, it's a nice sort of, the matrix is the right shape. Uh, for me to have a go at doing something special like that. Um, now, yeah, just going to crack on. I don't want to waffle. Let's just get prepping uh, and get seen. Basically, as well, what I've done is I've I've got this down. I've got the rock down. This was like sticking out like that. So I've done the boring part, penning down to it. Uh, and I am just exposing the rib so tickling just touching the top of the rib so i know where they are in the rock and then air abrading the uh the material out the middle of the ribs now this one i didn't know that one was there and you can see where i'm penning along removing matrix boom i've tiny i've took a tiny you know clipped three of the ribs there um so i mean that always pains me but it, it does happen if you're prepping you know you you know you you're concentrating on the the big one that you can see and as you're penning through the matrix to get it down you know sometimes you do hit smaller ones or other ones that are there but you've just got a all right clear your mind don't get too angry and just prep it as it is and carry on uh but yeah i mean if you if you had a massive air abrasive and enough powder and enough time abrasive abrading is really slow so much slower than penning so you can't really just abrade the entire thing oh <sighs> but anyway i'm going to crack on with this and uh let's see if we can make this look like something nice um so yeah i'm gonna get the gear on i've already got my earplugs in get the extractor on uh get the extractor on and get cracking don't forget you need to do that helps us out but yeah i have actually um i'll talk about it later on in the video i don't know what i'm going on about i i've not done one of these for ages i never script anything i just kind of sit down and just talk rubbish so i'm just going to crack on time lapse it um and see what we can get see if we can turn that into something beautiful yeah yeah, let's do it. See you later. Right, just stop that video there. When I talk about... Um, Sorry. When I talk about finding ribs, uh, as I'm going across here, smoothed off on the level of that right you can't see it yeah let me go and get my other camera so i can actually show you what i mean by finding ribs yeah so when i'm going across so yeah i need to explain it a bit better uh, i'll be back in a minute just there you see it so you got the rib evenly spaced and then just the top of the rib there. Just there. Boop, 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 boop. So hopefully that worked out a bit better and you can see. So yeah, so those ribs, so that little bit in the top corner on those ribs, so you've got the ribs and then that little tiny bit that you show. I've just touched the calcite, well, I've touched the rib, which is made of calcite and it's just gone slightly whiter. Uh, than the surrounding matrix and the rock around it. So I know they're, you know, 
there's the rib and you can sort of work it out you know obviously as it gets bigger and the worlds get bigger you go that way the the ribs get a bit more spaced out and as you go in the ribs obviously get closer together but that's what you're looking for so you don't want to you know you don't want to dig in so what i'm doing is i'm just smoothing off so imagine well what can i do uh need a pen need a pen one sec i got see not very organized but i'm getting there i'll go and get a whiteboard and a marker and i'll show you all right honestly uh tell them get paid for this so what i'm saying is right let's just i'll show you so that will take a cross section of the ribs of an ammonite so you end up with yeah like that and you've got the rock the matrix on the top yeah so you want to remove this lot yeah you want to remove all this rock right if you're penning and coming down at an angle say this is your pen this is your point and it's coming down it's chipping off big loads yeah you're gonna you might end up you know damaging taking out like tops of ribs cracking off and stuff like that so what i'd like to do yeah what i like to do yeah is smooth down so i'm basically sort of using the pen in a you know like in a smoothing see how it goes flat there sort of smoothing it down at a really low angle with my pen not like coming down like this like with a with a pen like that with the pen tip but really sort of getting a low angle and sort of smoothing it off S -s layer at a time getting s smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until you actually just tickle those tops of those ribs yeah and then what happens is see now see like that so you can just you're just touching the tops of those ribs and then what you can do is use your air abrasive Use your air abrasive pen. What's that? To get rid of this bit in here. Yeah. So that's very like an air abrasive pen. It's it's it, there's no percussive uh, percussive action, so you're not going to damage your ribs. Uh, so you can remove that pretty safely, like gently. Yeah, in between. Don't know whether that made any sense at all. And I used to be a teacher, so it's uh, probably why I'm not teaching um, still. But yeah, you know what I mean? So that's what you're doing. Bab, 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 bab. So getting it down, you're just touching these. And as soon as you see them, as soon as you see the tops, as soon as you see these tops, you just stop digging, you know, stop smoothing. Just follow it, just chase it all the way around. Yeah? Anyway, I'm going to crack on. But I just wanted to explain that. Uh, that's me seeing a tiny bit of rib and trying to explain it in the most confusing way possible. Well done, me. Right, so here you can actually see Smoothie Smoothie in action, keeping that pen nice and low. You, know, you can use your pen on the, you know, when you know how low down those ribs are. And again, in this, this section here, I've been to the abrasive cabinet, blasted off in between those ribs there, and then back to the pen in. I do that quite often. You can see me as well, following the, following the line line. Where I know the ammonite's not, I can really sort of use the pen up quite an aggressive angle to chip off a lot more rock and again when I get close there I'm starting to to do me smoothie smoothie again look getting onto that little ammonite was a right pain as well you see just tickling the dam just so I can see some ribs on that inner whirl Again, been back to the abrasive. I've just took off a tiny bit of rock, so I've 
got a better idea. You can see there that little section of inner world ribs. So I definitely know how, how high they are. Again, you can see when I go around the edge there as well, just to, to make a line, I'm, I'm resting my, my sort of, um, ring finger, as it were, right hand though right-handed but using that finger to sort of steady myself and there as well I'm using sort of little circular mo movements with the end of the pen so I can get in so I don't sort of gouge to you know pop that little ammonite off so that white line you can see there as well that's a calcite vein oh, so we're getting there back to it See so we've done the old uh, rib tickle air braid and we've got the other whirl out. It's quite, you know, I just love how this bit sits. It's going to be quite nice, it just sits really well by itself, like in a little dish. Just crack on and see if we can get this middle out. Um, I mean, this bit's going to be the tricky bit around here, so I think I've got to get down low. Uh, and I don't want that to make it look like it's sticking up too much so I've got to keep this bit of rock here so it looks like it's sat on that you know I don't want it to just look like it's on a boop on a, on a post so yeah um, get this down get the opening cut in get this right under so it looks like it's sort of sitting in the bowl and um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think it's uh, going to be not bad for a few hours work. Um, so I'm just going to crack on. Not a gin, coffee, this afternoon, innit? What time is it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to just put my, uh, my, my gear on, my clubber on, and give it that. I've not been showing the air abrasive because the lights I've got in make it all flash and go rubbish so I'm gonna have to I'm actually get in or not get in I'm making myself a new cabinet because in all, all fairness that one's pretty pants I mean I've knocked it together with some six six mil MDF years ago when I didn't know what I were doing well I should know what I were doing I used to be a DT teacher but that's what I come up with terrible terrible so uh, I'm gonna get my mate Sai help me out make a nice ply new cabinet to try and put it up here clear all this rubbish here and um, yeah just try I think I've just got so much stuff look just everywhere just lying about rocks big old rocks small old rocks <sighs> new teaching tool teaching tool anyway yeah, see how much more I can get done. I'm gonna have another hour on this, see if I can get that middle out, uh, and then we'll have a look at it. And it shouldn't be too long. I reckon, start to finish, that's just gonna be about four, four and a half, five hours work. So I already did a bit on it before I started filming, so yeah. It's gonna be nice, it's getting there.
managed to get the middle out on it. Uh, still got uh, some rock to remove here, here, do the openings and smooth this bit. But yeah, I think I was being a bit optimistic at the start when I said I was going to do both sides. Um, so yeah, and it sits really nice. It's, it's a really nice piece. It sort of just sits really well. Quite like it. Just yeah. So uh, get this bit done, that bit done. Bish bash bosh, and it's finished. I'm ready to sell. So yeah. Game on. Get it done. Yeah, I've missed a few bits in here. There are a few bits of rock, now it's drying. Yeah. I'm happy with it. I am really happy. It's nice, nice to get on and do something. And it's like getting these ones and, go, you know, getting under. Like, I'm going to struggle here. Um, getting around there. It's like, you know, making it look like it's been plonked on. You know, a lot of a lot of people make the mistake of just going up to the to the to the top of the keel, so you can see the ammonite, and then job done. Now you've got to get whoa, way over. Just keep going. And this one as well. I mean, like way under, way around. Gives it that like, nah, like I don't know what you call it. Just sharp definition. You know, makes it look pop. Makes it pop off the rock. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I don't think I'm going to do any more time lapse because my battery's running out. And um, I'll finish with a finished shot of this, I think. Um, so, yeah. It might not even. I don't know. I'm just going to crack on. Let me finish it and I'll show you. Because you don't need any more weird five minute time lapses probably just skip them bits anyway so yeah anyway looking good is it for this video um, uh, I'm gonna get to bed uh, that one is done uh, Darren and the Viking his Viking sons you all know what that means uh, congratulations to Aaron uh, for getting his certificate at school he's uh, took uh, his fossils he found when we went out on a walk and he's took him in uh, to school and he's been doing talks so congratulations there mate I'm really uh, really proud of you for that um, Thank you, someone sent me um, a tie-dyed ammonite t-shirt as well, which I, I absolutely love. Uh, I've not worn it yet because it's been a bit hot, it's got long sleeves. Uh, but yeah, well anyway, hopefully in, the, hopefully in this video, I've tried to explain a bit what's going up in my noggin while I'm doing it. Because um, I think it's important that people, you know, rather than it just be, oh look, here's a fossil, or like, here's a good reveal. It, I want people to learn something while I'm doing this. Um, and I hope this sort of, I've changed it up a bit. It's like, you know, I, I am going to get better. At the product. It's, I'm a one man band. I've got three kids. Do you know what I mean? I've got three kids and a lot of stuff going off. So you get what you're given. And uh, <laughs> you get what you're given. And on that note, um, do that. And um, if you want, and uh, I'll see you next one. Yeah. There'll be somewhere. There'll be somewhere.